Do I have what it takes to be an entrepreneur? I get asked this question almost every day. Noelle, do I have what it takes? Well, the answer is probably going to surprise you. I'm gonna spell the entire thing out for you in this video. Let's go. Noelle. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, all you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the quick test to give yourself to know if you are built to be an entrepreneur. I'm gonna share with you the number one trait of successful entrepreneurs that anyone can learn. And last but not least, I'm gonna share with you the biggest trap that new entrepreneurs fall into and show you how to avoid it. Being an entrepreneur is one of the most awesome things in the world. I know, it sounds crazy, but to me, I really feel like it is. Entrepreneurs are the ones that create business. We are the business creators. We are the job creators. We are the business owners. We are the life impulse of almost any economy because we are the risk takers. An economy wouldn't even work well without entrepreneurs creating transactions and giving things for people to buy products, services, and things like that. So being an entrepreneur is really awesome. There's some great benefits like tax benefits and there's all kinds of incentives. There's lots of grants and people giving you money to encourage you and incentivize you to be an entrepreneur. Additionally, as an entrepreneur, I can tell you I'm able to create my own income. I'm able to create my own schedule. I am able to create my own products and services. I can charge what it is that I want to charge for my things. I have no cap or limit on my income. I don't have to work with people I don't want to work with. I really get to control my life and my day. And being an entrepreneur has been one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life. I absolutely love being an entrepreneur and I dreaded going to work. I was a person that had a job and worked in corporate America for nearly 20 years and I never really enjoyed it. I always had a side hustle that I was doing when I had a job and now that I was able to quit my job and work in just my business, I've never been happier. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can do so you can be just like me. So the number one thing that you need to know about being an entrepreneur is that it has nothing to do with intelligence. Most people think that most successful entrepreneurs are the ones that are super smart, the ones that know a lot, the ones that have great connections, and that's just not true. It really has nothing to do with intelligence. I have literally seen people that can barely read and write. In fact, I know people for a fact that cannot read and write and they have way more money than I do, okay? And they've had this money longer than I had it. They did not inherit it. They earned more money and they've kept that money because being a millionaire, being an entrepreneur has nothing to do with intelligence. Focus beats intelligence every day. This was a quote from my mentor and I'm sharing it with you. Focus beats intelligence. As an entrepreneur and when I became successful as an entrepreneur is when I got super focused on what I was doing. I had to put all of my other side hustles and businesses to the side and just focus on my business. If you want to take your business to the next level and you really want to be an entrepreneur, you're going to have to get focused on being an entrepreneur. You can't be someone that does hair one day and does nails the next and takes pictures the next and, and gives, you know, does event planning one day and sells Tupperware and Mary Kay and, and now I'm, I'm doing my side hustle where I do cars and I clean cars. No, no, no. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you got to get focused. Focus beats intelligence. So I'm gonna tell you four things, and this is gonna be a quick test to see if you have these skills and traits. You wanna make sure that you have them because doing an analysis on yourself will let you know if you are truly built and has what it takes to be an entrepreneur. These four things are four things that almost every entrepreneur that I have ever met has told me that they have. They're four basic things and almost anyone can learn all four of these things. Just know that this is almost like a self-assessment. Do you have these four things? And if you don't, can you change and implement them? This is going to all come down to you, no one else. Number one, what is your attitude? Do you have a positive attitude or do you generally have a negative attitude? And only you can answer this question. I need you to ask yourself that. Are you a generally positive person? Do you think that things will normally work out? Do you think that things will work out for you, not other people, not anyone else. Just sit and ask yourself and think about this. 
Am I a positive person? Do I have a positive outlook and a positive attitude? Attitude is the number one thing to success. I'm sorry, how you think, how you behave, what your actions are, are based on your thoughts. So if you think that things will generally work out and you think in a positive way, you will act in accordance to that. But if you think that things probably won't work out and it's gonna be a negative outcome, then you will act in accordance to that thought and belief. This is a very simple concept that most people really do not understand. So listen to this closely and do this real analysis of yourself. Are you a positive thinker or a negative thinker? Which one is it? This is a really important question and only you can answer it. You're going to need a positive attitude and a positive outlook. So if you don't have it, start working on it. Number two, what are your habits? Do you have habits that are conducive to being an entrepreneur? Are your beliefs and your habits in line with being an entrepreneur? Do you get up early each morning or do you sleep in? What do you do on your weekends? Do you watch TV a lot? Do you get on Facebook and Instagram and talk to friends and gossip a lot? What are some of your habits? What are your major habits? Because this is very important because as an entrepreneur to be successful, you're going to have to have entrepreneurial habits. You're going to have to have habits where you get up every single day and you work on your business. You're going to have habits where you have to email or market or sell something in your business every single day. What are your habits? Are they habits of you know, wasting time and wasting money? Or do you have habits of working on your business and uh, learning about what you're doing and reading books on your subject and becoming an expert in your field? Do you go to conferences and seminars and learn about your industry? Do you go to festivals and, and things that have to do with what it is that you are trying to do? Or are you a person that doesn't really have any entrepreneurial habits? Do you have no habits of other uh, entrepreneurs? You're more of a person that kind of just behaves like a worker. You get up each morning, you go to work, you come home, and you have aspirations of being an entrepreneur, but not habits of an entrepreneur. And if you don't have habits of an entrepreneur, start to develop them. Number three, are you a learner? Are you someone that likes to learn? Do you like to learn new things? Do you like to study new things? Do you like to read new things? Are you okay with not knowing something and being very dumb about it and being in a room with everybody else that knows and you don't? Are you a learner? Some people are not learners. They like to be the expert. They like to be the one that knows everything. They don't like feeling stupid. That's probably not a good habit of someone that is going to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are okay with being learners. Things are always changing. You're never going to be the smartest one in the room. And once you learn something, something new is out there. Let me give you a quick example. When I started investing in real estate, I started doing wholesaling and things like that. I was flipping contracts. But now that's kind of not something that people need to do because we have all of this access to business credit and business funding. That is something that people can do now and something that I had to learn and to do. So I had to put myself in a position to be dumb, to be vulnerable, to learn a whole new thing so that I can continue in my business. You can't be a person that is afraid to learn things and a person that is afraid to be stupid about things. You're not gonna know everything. You're gonna be very dumb about a lot of things, but the important thing is to be a learner, someone that is committed to learning new things and okay with learning new things. Number four, are you a doer? Are you someone that does things? Do you implement on your plans? Be honest with yourself. Again, this is not Noel judging you or, or, or trying to call you out. I'm telling you to do a true self-analysis on yourself and ask yourself this question and answer it honestly. Are you a doer? Do you implement on your plans or do you just talk about them? Are you the type of person that wants to do things and thinks about things and talks to other people a lot and likes to have meetings? These are not good traits of an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are doers. We find out some information, we learn about it, and then we start doing it. Even if we're not 100% proficient in something, even as we're learning something, we are doing it. That is truly how you become successful. You have to be a doer. You can't be someone that likes sitting on the sidelines. No one needs you sitting on the sidelines, staring and coaching. They need you on the field. You have to be a player on the field and in the game. No one cares about the people in the stands or the people on the sidelines. You start doing, you get in the field, and you do. 
that's how you become a great entrepreneur. And here's a special bonus just because I love giving you bonus. So ask yourself this last question because this is so important and it is about grit. Are you a person that has grit? Are you tough? Are you like this person that's scrappy and when they put you down, you're the type of person that is strong and you are gonna overcome that? Or be honest with yourself, are you someone that is faces challenges and starts to go away from it? Are you a person that when things get tough, you like to just go back to your comfort zone? Are you the type of person that when things get difficult, you retreat? Which one are you? Are you that type of person or are you more of a fighter? Are you more of a go-getter? Are you more of a, I'm gonna scrap this thing out and really be tough about it? Now, again, this is not something we are born with. You're not born with grit or born without grit. It is something you develop. So ask yourself if you have grit, are you a tough person? And if you don't, start to develop it. That is a super bonus from Noelle. So now that you know you do have what it takes to be an entrepreneur, I'm gonna invite you to get my new book absolutely free. I have written a book called Real Estate Millionaire Secrets and I'm giving this book to you absolutely free. I have poured my heart into this book and you can go to noellesfreebook.com and get your copy absolutely free. Again, that's noellesfreebook.com. Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, noellesfreebook.com. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.